and science technology motivation. My students, class 8, class 9 and 10th class, little busy with the theory examinations, but still they are also busy doing all the projects. I have a creative group here with the help of their physics teacher, chemistry teacher, biology teacher, doing so many nice science experiments. They have come up with good projects. They used small ordinary things which are at home and they made working projects. Working projects. They work. They are going to present those beautiful working projects. A vacuum cleaner, a cooler, a water cooler and a smoke detector. How useful these are. Can we imagine our daily life without these? These are very important for our day-to-day -day living. And the 8th class child, ninth class child coming up with this working projects with ordinary material at home. You just imagine once they grow, how much of creative things they can come up with, which can definitely make mankind and human welfare, man to be leading the life easier and better. I'm going to present these wonderful, talented, creative minds to you. They will explain how they made it. They will show how it works. Enjoy. Be inspired. Have a nice day. Hi everyone. I'm Sahit Chastri from Nandri. I'm here to explain you about smoke absorber. Smoke absorber is a mechanical device which absorbs smoke. Kitchens, factories, labs, etc. are the common areas where smoke absorbers are being used. Divya will explain you how it works. Hi, I am Divya. I will explain how the smoke absorber will act. The key use of the smoke absorber is to pump out all the heat, airborne oil, mechanical gases and steam and combustible materials into a external atmosphere by filtering the internal air in a kitchen or in a room. As it is a device via a connected mechanical fan that aims to remove all the harmful gases and purifies the air within the building. Now Subhani will explain. Let me show you what are the components are being used in making this smoke absorber. As you can see, there are two motors with a connected fan and the wires are connected so that it could function properly. These pipes are the inlet from which the smoke will enter the, enter the smoke absorber and this is the outlet from which the smoke will get outside. As you can see the smoke is entering from this side and getting out from this side. This is how the smoke absorber works. Hello everyone, I am P. Urmika from grade 9C. Today I will tell you about smoke alarm. Smoke alarm is a device that automatically detects and warns people about the presence of a fire before it reaches a rapidly spreading stage and inhibits escape or attempts to extinguish. Duane Pearsall and Stanley Bennett Peterson created the first modern smoke detector in 1965. Let me show you what are the components are being used in making this smoke alarm. This is an MQ2 sensor, this is a light, this is a buzzer, this is a switch. And all the parts are connected with wires so that it could function properly. Let me demonstrate it to you how it works. As you can see when it senses the heat and smoke, it makes a sound. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Ailovit. I am from grade 9 Yet Today we are presenting vacuum cleaner. Vacuum cleaner is used to clean dirt by means of sucking. It's powered by electricity. No other electricity. It takes a 
takes two to three days to prepare the basic model of the vacuum cleaner. The required materials are a pipe, one DC motor, two HW batteries, a water bottle and a switch. The basic model of this vacuum cleaner is made with a plastic bottle. A DC motor is connected to the vacuum cleaner at the end and a propeller is connected to the motor. This is the motor where we kept back side of the bottle. This is the switch, this is the HW batteries which we gave connection inside the bottle. This is the pipe where the switch is up. The motor is connected to the 9 volts battery and to the switch. We cover the bottle with cardboard pieces to get the good look. When the switch is turned on, the motor makes the fan rotate and makes the surface vacuum. And the pipe is connected to the front side of the vacuum cleaner so that the dust could go through it. Now let's see how it works. So as you can see, it's setting the dust. Good morning everyone, my name is Navri. I am studying grade 9 in St. John's English Medium School. Today we are here to tell you about our science project on mini cooler. These are my teammates. My name is Esmond Ritta, studying grade 9 in St. John's English Medium School. My name is B.H.V. Kanke Gandhi. I am studying grade 9 in St. John's English Medium School. This is Maulika from grade 9. Good morning everyone. Myself, Shekhar Man. I am This is an artificial model representing a real life cooler. This is easy to make, less cost and easy to handle. The required, the required materials to make this is two batteries, our motor, after our fan and a plastic container, wires, switch. The process to make this cooler is take a plastic container and take off lid of container. Take, take a plastic container and take off lid of container and keep holes by using soldering machine. Take all holes motor and fix it to the lid. Take the plastic container and dry a circle by using divider and cut it. Take a plastic bottle and cut it into cylindrical shape. Now, with the help of gum, fix the cylindrical bottle to the main center of the container. The last and final step of this cooler is to take the lid of the container and pour some water, cool water or ice cubes. And that's it. The mini cooler is ready. And there are some precautions while making this project. The first precaution is to be careful while using the soldering machine and be careful while using the hot glue gun. Thank you. This is our mini cooler, this is the container of the bottle which we said and these are two batteries which are connected to the motor and inside that we have fixed this fan and once we close that we, we have to wear some ice and some water in it and keep the lid of the container and yes, here we fix it the here we fix it the switch and once we on the mini cooler is working. Thank you.